Hello. Thank you very much for attending this presentation on Arista Cloud Vision Q built for MSPs. Today we will first get into an introduction into what exactly is multi-tenant architecture. We'll then describe how does an MSPs create new tenants along with multi-level administrative access functionality. And then we will spend the majority of the presentation today on our product demo showing how MSPs can easily create multiple tenants and onboard Arista switches and access points underneath. The system has been meticulously designed from the ground up, specifically tailored for multi-tenancy and effortless cloud deployment. It offers a multi-level administrative framework where customer administrators are limited to accessing their own data while MSP administrators are granted access to their respective customers' accounts. Additionally, both MSP and customer administrators possess the ability to create new accounts, each with carefully defined access restriction. Security is paramount, as the data store is compartmentalized, effectively isolating each customer's data. The cloud infrastructure adheres to stringent SSAE 16 compliance standards, and the development, deployment, and support processes are approved under ISO 27001, ensuring manageability and user-friendliness, an MSP dashboard is provided. This dashboard provides insights into customer and device growth, feature usage, and trends over time. For streamlined access, MSP administrators can use single sign-on to access all customer accounts. The tools provided are designed to be intuitive and straightforward, ensuring ease of use. Let's quickly see how customers are provisioned as an example. MSP admin has access to all customers' services and data. In this case, access to all three customer accounts. MSP admin can create more users with restricted access. Users of each customer can access their own service and have no access to other customers' service and data on the same server. In this case, customer admin 2 will not be able to access customer 1 and customer 3 service and data on the same server. Customer services are provisioned on a multi-tenant server in the Arista cloud. Let's jump right into an engaging practical demonstration on how to create new tenant and assign access points. What we are currently observing is the MSP admin view, which grants them the ability to access their customers through a single login. In the left pane, we see a list of customers. When clicking on an individual customer, we will see their corresponding services. Let's click on FPA field provisioning portal tile in order to create new tenant. Navigate to Manage Customer tab. Provide required details like account number, name and AP MAC address and create customer. Enter start date and provide appropriate duration for the access point to be managed under the corresponding customer. Access point added successfully. MSP admin while creating customers can also specify their customer's access as well. These accounts are limited to customer's deployment. Let's refresh the page. MSP will now see newly created tenant. Click the Wireless Manager service of Branch Office for customer. Let's quickly navigate to Monitor, Access Point to see if AP onboarded correctly to this customer and shown as active. As we now see, the access point onboarded correctly to this customer. We will see access point model, capability, build information if we slightly scroll toward right side of the page. Next step will be is to configure the SSID and connect wireless clients to it. Let's see how easy it is to create SSID and onboard wireless client part of Quick Demo. Click Add SSID to simply create wireless network.
For example, select WPA3 and provide your unique passphrase key. You will need to enter the same key when connecting the wireless client to this network. Configure VLAN ID. Enable smart steering. Advanced wireless features like 11K, 11V and 11R if it's necessary for your network. Let's turn on the SSID in 5 and 6 GHz band. SSID configured successfully. Let's connect wireless client now. Connect to Lab MSP SSID and provide the corresponding passphase key to join network. Wireless client connected successfully to the secured network. Check the reachability to internet using ping command. Now that the client has successfully joined the network, CVQ offers a powerful dashboard based on the client's journey. This dashboard allows us to view the wireless client association information. and drill down further to understand its association details, which can be very helpful for troubleshooting. I hope this session is informative to you. Thanks for watching.